So the question is, how many fragrances should a man own? The answer, one. Boom. Video over. Man, that was easy. Nope, just kidding. And I'm not beating up on Stetson. This is a good fragrance. When I was 12 years old, I got this for Christmas. Introduced me to the world of fragrances. So if you were to poll five fragrance experts, how many fragrances should a man own? You're going to probably get five different answers. My answer is going to be a bit more open, and that is own as many as you want. By the way, I'll let you know at the end of this video how many fragrances I own as of today's date. So let's start things off with florals. Historically, this is the oldest scent that men and women have worn. Yes, I know when you think florals, you think flowers, you think a woman's fragrance. But guys, there are tons of masculine, especially sexy fragrances out there that men can wear. And yes, you're going to smell like maybe lavender. You're going to smell like rose. You're also going to see magnolia. You're going to see lily of the valley. You're going to see gardenia. You're also going to see iris out there in a number of floral fragrances. Now, when to wear floral fragrances? Spring, summer. Yeah, you could wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the fall, but spring and summer is when most people, they just feel that these fragrances work. Now, one interesting note is that florals oftentimes are amplified by the heat. So when you put this on inside, be aware that if you go outside and it's hot or if you start to sweat, all of a sudden, this fragrance can start to project a bit more. Now, is everyone going to be into florals? I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan. Even though I've got some of the classic fragrances out there when it comes to florals, I found that they just don't work for me and my wife doesn't like them too much on me. But you've got to find what works for you. So, go out there and experiment. Tons of options out there. The next type of fragrance I want to talk about are the aquatics. So, think a beach. Think the ocean, that smell right there. But what's interesting about this, how can you actually encapsulate that smell and put it into a fragrance? You can't naturally. So, this is where they use synthetic, basically, molecules to replicate that smell. One of the classic ones we're going to see out there, Aquadigio. This right here just is, it encapsulates what is an aquatic fragrance. You're going to find some other ones out there. I think Bulgari makes some great ones. I haven't talked about this yet, but I will at some point. And you could also go with something that's a little bit stronger. Go with maybe the perfume, the Profumo here. Point being is that this fragrance is actually one of my fragrances, and I'll tell you why. Because it's fresh, it's clean, and there's just something about it that draws me in. And you're going to find when you choose a fragrance, when you find a particular type, there's just some relationship. Maybe growing up on my summers in California, this is what it reminds me of. And that's what's interesting about these fragrances. Now, when is the best time to wear aquatics? Pretty much, it seems obvious, right? During the summer, you can wear it in the spring, you can wear it in the fall, you could wear it in the winter. But I find that aquatics work best in hot weather. So now I want to talk about one of my favorite smells when it comes to fragrances, and that is leather. I love leather jackets, I love suede jackets, and I love a fragrance that has a leather smell to it. So most fragrances are not going to say leather right on them. Instead, what you're going to get are they're going to take other combinations and they're going to put it together, and you're going to pick up leather in this. You're also going to pick up in this one gasoline, asphalt. Violet is the dominant note, but most people smell leather very quickly and it's one that stays with it. Now, are you know what, what's causing this? It is a not a natural fragrance. Like with florals, again, they can take extracts from flowers, although they don't do that very often anymore. But what they have to do with this is this is going to be man made. Now, Leather fragrances, what are they good for? Uh, for me, these are fragrances that you want to dress up. These are fragrances that you don't want to wear just with casual clothing. They're fragrances that work great with a suit whenever you want to look good and feel like a million bucks. When do you wear a leather fragrance? During the fall and during the winter. Next up, let's talk about orientals. And before I go too deep on this, I want to stress that all these different types I'm talking about, you're going to see these combined. So you're going to, you're not just going to see orientals, you're going to see floral. Orientals. You're going to see spicy orientals. You're going to see woody orientals. Now, I'll get into those other types here soon, but with this oriental here, there's something in it that makes it an oriental, and that is truffle. You're also going to, amber is going to be the most common one, but this one right here, Black Orchid by uh, Tom Ford, is very well known because it's just a very unique smell. But there's a truffle smell in this, which really sets it apart from most other fragrances out there. Now, when it comes to the amber, to truffles, to orientals in general, you're going to find that these are great fall, winter fragrances. They're oftentimes heavier fragrances, very seductive fragrances. These are also great for at night. Whenever you want to be more attractive, you're getting close to somebody, you want to smell a bit mysterious, you want to look at an oriental fragrance. 
Mm, this is an amazing fragrance. Now, if you've got an eagle eye throughout this video, you may have noticed I've got some pretty cool fragrances back here. Most of you guys have never seen this, and that's because these are Navitus perfumes. If you're familiar with Steven over at Red Adolescence, he just launched his company. And guys, I've got samples of all of his fragrances, and I have to say that they are amazing. Now, gents, he's not paying me to talk about his fragrances. He did send me samples and I tried them all. And I have to say from the packaging to everything that he's put into these fragrances, they are nothing short of amazing. One of my absolute favorites in his collection, Absolutio. Why? Because it's a gourmand fragrance. So, this is the next type I'm going to talk about. Gourmand fragrances are fragrances that have edible qualities. Not that you would be eating the fragrance, but you almost feel that you can. Now, another great example of a gourmand fragrance is going to be Amen. Another one, Cryptomint. Uh, we've got Rocus Man. And right over there, I've got Vanilla and Leather. These are fragrances when you smell them, when especially a woman smells this stuff on you, she wants to get close. She wants to eat you up. Mm, so good and tasty. These fragrances are oftentimes going to be a little bit heavier, a little bit more going to wrap you. They're almost like a hug. This is something that when you're wearing a sweater, you want to wear a gourmand fragrance. So, on that note, no pun intended, these are winter fragrances. You can also wear them in the fall, maybe on a cool spring day, but these are fragrances, yeah, that you you want to wear in cooler weather. Another Navitus perfume I'm absolutely loving is Primus. Now, this one right here has oak moss. So, therefore, it is a sheep If you're not familiar with sheep fragrances, I think the word comes from French for cypress. But the idea here, oak moss, bergamot, these are going to be fragrances that just have a, they have a very mature feel to them. This is definitely a fragrance that is for a man, a fragrance that's going to be sophisticated, it's going to be elegant. This is going to be a fall fragrance. And if you've ever smelled polo green, is another perfect example of a sheep or a fragrance when you're looking for this type of fragrance out there. It's another great one. If you've never tried it, make sure to try a sample or go out there and buy the good stuff. All right, guys. So, if you're interested in Navitus perfumes, I'm going to put some great resources down in the description of today's video. First up, I'm going to link over to Steven's video. He talks about each of his fragrances, goes into a lot more detail than I do in this video. I'm also going to link over to his website. Now, guys, if you're looking for a gift, if you want to get a fragrance, a niche fragrance of high quality, you want to check out what they've got here. I love the packaging. I love how with every, every fragrance you buy, it comes with a card. Card. And on this card, it actually breaks out each of the notes. It's just the packaging is so beautiful. And guess what, guys? That matches the quality of the fragrances. Why am I saying all this? No, Steven's not paying me. I simply love what he's doing. I want to support him, his new brand. And yeah, for you guys to go check it out. Amazing fragrances. If you know the type of fragrances you want to get into, or you want to go check out his sample pack so that you can smell these fragrances for yourself, go do it, guys, because this fragrance line is amazing. Now, the fragrance I'm holding here, this is Virtues. So, Virtues is a woody fragrance. What's a woody fragrance? Again, they're not extracting wood oil or anything and making these fragrances, but when you smell this, you smell sandalwood. You smell cedar. There's a wide variety of different types of woods, but this one right here, yes, wood is one of the notes. There's a few other ones as well, but we're going to find some other fragrances out there that have great wood notes. This one right here, I know a lot of you guys, it's got a cult following. But other ones are simply, you know, Tom Ford does a great job. He puts wood right on it. And then other fragrances are classics. They've been around for 30 years. This one I'm actually wearing right now, it's got a very strong wood fragrance as the base, sandalwood, even though on top, the top note is, isn't wood. Point being is that wood is a very strong masculine fragrance. Any guy that works with wood knows this. When are you going to wear this? This is going to be a winter. This is going to be a fall. You could wear it in the spring. It's going to be though throughout the day, not maybe something you would wear at night. It's not a super, I would say, dressy fragrance, although you can find sometimes the wood is going to mix with the oriental. Maybe it's going to go with a bit of spice. Therefore, you could probably wear that at night. You see how that works. Point being is this is a great fragrance for any guy that wants to smell strong and masculine. Now, let's talk about spicy fragrances. So, some people consider this a subcategory under oriental fragrances. What we're going to notice about spicy fragrances, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove. And spicy fragrances, these are oftentimes some of the favorite fragrances of guys that want to smell great and attract the ladies. Tons of options out there. Some of them are going to have great projection. Other ones, maybe not so much projection, but more of a sweet smell and definitely one that 
everybody loves. Everybody that smells this fragrance absolutely loves it. Now, does that say that every spicy fragrance is going to be a crowd pleaser? Is it going to be something that, yeah, it's going to smell like everybody else? No, it's not. There are some out there that have maybe a bit of a smoky smell and definitely, you know, take a little bit of practice to wear and you need to be the right guy to be able to pull it off. But when you think spicy fragrance, you want to think winter, you want to think fall, you want to think it's going to envelop you, it's going to be like a warm hug. These are great fragrances, especially during the cool weather. Next up, let's talk about Fougeres. This is considered to be some of the most masculine fragrances out there. Lavender with oak moss with a bit of tobacco. This combination right here is just what's considered by many people to be the masculine fragrance. Now, is everyone going to agree? No, especially on this one right here. But when you try something like this, Burberry Touch, this is something when people smell it, they're like, wow, that really smells like a man. Are we all going to agree? No, of course, we've got different opinions. But when is a great time to wear this fragrance? Fall, spring, summer. It's definitely, I think, a three-season fragrance. Maybe not so much for the winter, a little bit light in my opinion, but this is going to be a fragrance you can wear throughout the day. You could wear it to work. You're just going to smell great. You're not going to offend anybody. And it's just something, it's a really nice fragrance. Mm. Now, this Navitude's perfume right here, Navus, it allows me to cover actually the next two categories, two birds with one stone. Citrus and aromatic. Let me explain what each of these are. Now, as you can imagine with citrus scents, these smell very fresh, very clean, very light. When's a great time to wear these? Well, pretty much obvious, right? Spring and summer are perfect. Another thing you'll notice about citrus scents is that they go pretty quick. They actually don't last very long. Hence why you see these used oftentimes in combination with other scents, with other fragrances, and they'll oftentimes be a top note because, yeah, the top note just doesn't last that long. And what do they mean by an aromatic scent? So, this is going to be a very grassy scent. This is going to be sage, rosemary, cumin, lavender. And by the way, aromatics are considered to be very masculine and you will often times see them combine with citrus notes. And I did promise to let you know how many fragrances I own. Right now, the count is 165 fragrances. That's a lot, I know, uh, probably more than I can wear in my lifetime. And because of that, I'm going to be break, basically decanting where you take them and you put them in smaller containers. And I'm going to be sending them out for free to the guys in my Dapper Dog Club. What am I talking about? If you haven't checked out my group over on Facebook, you want to check it out. I'm going to link to it down in the description. It's a free group, but here's the deal. You got to answer the three questions. A lot of people applied and they did not answer any of the three questions, so I'm not letting you in. You've got to show that you really want to be part of this inner circle here at Armor Us. So, I'm inviting you to join. Again, putting the link down in the description. And we're giving away a lot more than just fragrances, by the way. I'm getting rid of things here in the office, but most importantly, the guys that join my Dapper Dog Club, they care about the direction of Real Men Real Style. They want to reach out to me directly and say, Antonio, I loved this video or I didn't like this video. They want to give me constructive criticism. And that's what I'm looking for. People to join this group and to give me ideas for future videos. Be able to talk about, hey, Antonio, that's a good one. No, maybe not that so much. I want to be able to explain why I do what I do so that I can basically have some people that care about my channel and care about this community enough that they want to engage with us. And we've got a little club going on here. Yeah the Dapper Dog Club. So, go check it out, guys. I will link to it again down in the description. It's free, but remember, you've got to answer those three questions. Otherwise, you're just not getting in. So, what video to watch next? How about the sexiest fragrances a man can wear? I've got you covered in this video right here. Check it out, guys. It's a countdown. I break out. And then there's a lot of fragrances on this list that you will not see anywhere else. So, guys, if you want to smell and look great, check out this video right here.